I just really do believe in manifesting things, first with our thoughts and trying to bring them into real life, and I think that's part of what led me here today. I was afraid because I figured, oh, all these people are going to know how to draw, and, and I said, I've never picked up a paintbrush other than paint the walls. Art is about possibilities. If we can be conduits for, for creating bridges of harmony and, and healing, then you know, what else are we here to do if not that? Particularly for veterans that for me, uh, I feel are some of the most underserved citizens that we have, that if I could use my work in whatever capacity to help uh, whatever suffering they might be going through, uh, to me, that's, it's just a small way of saying thank you. I've been going for therapy for PTSD to get rid of all this junk. Sure, sure. And this, this is why I think, like I That's said, great. because I want to know that I can do something like this and it's okay. Sure. I can draw a small circle here and a big one here, 100%. and you're not going to sit there right. and say, oh my God. What I ask, if you're able to, is to identify that part of your inner dialogue and meet it with patience and with love, even if it's just a mantra, even if it's just a word right. that you meet it with. It's just awareness, it's not judging yourself for doing it. There is a message of hopefulness throughout my work. There is a message of gratitude, a message of trying to understand the mystery that's around us. And that's the way that I want my life to be. So there's plenty of negative things that we can dwell on, dwell on as well, and I'm not discounting those things at all, but in the time that we're gonna to spend together, I want it to move towards harmony, and I want it to move towards healing, and that's the way I want my life to move and my work, and that's the energy that I want it to draw. So to me, uh, being a fan of science, I realize things move in alternating currents, and that's the current that I want to take, put out, and that's what I want to receive back. The painting allows me to just, just go, but there's no barriers. Whatever barriers that would have been put up to my talent have gone. I worked at Ground Zero in New York, and that was the first time I really understood post-traumatic stress disorder. Following September 11 attacks, I literally had to wake up one night and paint the Twin Towers to keep them from falling on me in my nightmares. And then that was what led me to go into formally going to therapy to get a diagnosis, a, a better understanding of what I had been dealing with. To me, it's not just so much about art, it's cartooning. It's very immediate. So you can think something and you can, you, can, you can release that thing. And even if it's crudely, that's why it is the idea that this is a space where you can do no wrong. Because it's not necessarily how it comes out, it's just the fact that we're getting it out. And there is a catharsis in that, especially for things that are difficult and things that we wanna heal that have happened to us. For me, it was therapeutic. And just to even hear Lebo talk about there is no wrong way. Because um, I know for myself, I have so much in my head that no matter what I do, it's wrong. So to have someone for me that has that status of somewhere I would like to obtain, you know, to hear him say there's no such thing as it being wrong. So to me, that reinforces now, I'll hear his voice every time I say that to myself. At the very end, when we put a name, the first name that came to my mind was Dante because he was my friend for the last 15 years and he didn't care about who I was outside of my uniform. And when we were in Afghanistan in 2013, he actually took a bomb for me. That's why one of the parts of the exercise was to write the name of people that have passed and you, that you want to remember. Because there's a certain catharsis, I think, in doing that, in, in remembering that, in doing that, and sharing that as a group, that hopefully provides a release from that pain and allows for more healing to go on in place of that. And we'll all sign this and we'll all take our oh, picture with you. so fabulous. There it is. Thank you, everybody. So Thank you very much. Give yourself a pile of applause. Yeah. And thank you for your service, brother. Appreciate yeah, it. man, you got it. I couldn't do what you I do if you didn't do what you did. Wow. That's true, man. Thank you.